Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Maloney. I'm the author and illustrator. Today, Gravity Goes Loco. and I my bed turned into a spaceship. Pancake Pennsylvania, ice cream robots, and the latest, oh, Away We Go Land. The stories for all my books come from sort of like the way musicians hear music in their head all the time. I just hear rhymes and words stick in my head. Crazy things my kids say that they laugh at. It's sort of like piecing together puzzle pieces in your head all day and every day you just get new ideas, 99% of which are absolutely terrible. 0.1% of them who muscle out into a book. I started writing books when I had my first kid about five years ago. It came from just reading so many stories to him, feeling the common structure or a math that's behind the books that you like. And you can kind of take that structure and paste your own ideas over top of it. The thing that drew me to art it was easy and accessible. I could just pick up a pen and draw on paper and get a reaction from people. I could communicate with very few words. My friends seemed to like it. I remember very early on, I won a, an award to have my a painting installed on the playground in my elementary school. As ridiculously small of an honor as that was, it sort of hooked me and I just kept making artwork after that. The best thing that's come out of writing children's books, people's reactions. It's, somebody tells me that their kids' favorite book is one that I've written and illustrated. That's pretty cool. So the most challenging thing about writing and illustrating is knowing which ideas to work on. You'll get you know, between 10 and 50 ideas a day. You need to really develop a taste for the best ideas. Some days you'll be so set on an idea, and then two days later you'll Google it, and somebody's already written it. Ugh, you'll be completely shot down. I would say turn all of your challenges anytime you're stressed or things aren't going your way, turn it into data, write it on a piece of paper. So write the date, the time, what the challenge is, scale of one to 10, how difficult it was or how painful it was. Keep track of that for 30 days. At the very least, what you'll get out of that is you'll realize that challenges pop up all the time and it'll give you an idea of what might be happening in the future. And when you expect challenges, they're less painful, and sometimes you can have a system in place to take care of it before it even happens. First of all, don't worry about getting better at drawing or illustrating. Take out a piece of paper and draw a grid like this with about 25 or 30 boxes. And each one of these boxes represents one day. In that one day, you're gonna work, you're gonna draw, and you're gonna write for one hour. And every day you do it, you get a red X. Your goal is to not get better. Just put a red X in every single one of these boxes. And at the end of 30 days, you'll be able to look back and see your improvement at anything you're doing.